The average consumer intends to spend $920 on gifts this holiday season. Some surveys indicate that Americans will spend over $1 trillion this holiday season. Unfortunately, the entire holiday shopping craze is based on unhealthy foundations. It finds its roots in a society conditioned to act on impulse, it is spurred on by corporations appealing to the aspects of us that are selfish and self-centered. And it's all based on the belief that we can buy happiness in our purchases. But the premise is wrong. We recognize it every December when the cycle of holiday spending begins again. We recognize it in January as the conversation inevitably turns to home organization, diets, getting out of debt. Even more, if we look close enough, we can notice the foolishness of our thinking next week as our trash bins overflow with the prepackaged waste of the holiday season. Happiness simply cannot be purchased at a store. In fact, we can do better than holiday shopping. We can be content with our possessions. We can realize our contentment in life is never found in our outward circumstances. And that if we're not happy today, buying something is not going to solve it tomorrow. Deciding to be content with our current level of possessions is one of the most freeing decisions we can make. We can value experiences over things. Removing ourselves from the holiday shopping frenzy does not mean we have to give up all opportunity to express love and respect through gifts. One of the best ways is to gift experiences rather than products this holiday season. You and the receiver may be pleasantly surprised at the value in a world where mass consumption is commonplace. We can choose to value relationships over purchases. When you think about it, gift giving is a pretty interesting arrangement. We sacrifice our time and our money in an effort to buy something manufactured in a box for the purpose of showing love to those closest to us. According to some statistics, we will spend over 15 hours in the next 30 days shopping for these gifts. What if we decided to spend that time with our loved ones, showing respect and love with a listening ear instead? We can choose to act responsibly with our resources. We can choose to intentionally live within our means. We can invest our money into social good. There are desperate needs all around us. There are people who need proper sanitation and clean water. And you don't have to look international. You can look local and find people in your neighborhood who need help. We can choose to help them rather than spending money on unnecessary possessions that we don't even need in the first place. Every new day provides a new opportunity to accomplish something new with our lives, to create something significant rather than consume something unnecessary. We can choose, we can decide each and every single day of this holiday season to pursue something more meaningful, more lasting than a gift box at the department store. We can remember that our world's resources are limited, Moses Henry Cass once said, We do not inherit the earth from our ancestors, we borrow it from our children. This has always rung true in my mind as one of the most significant and thoughtful phrases concerning our responsibility with the natural resources available to us. This holiday season, we can keep in mind our world's resources are limited and we can choose to stop shopping irresponsibly. We can be a better example for our kids. Many parents will fret over the holiday season, worried that their kids are going to be disappointed on Christmas morning if they don't receive enough gifts or buy just the perfect gifts. This is too bad because our concern is misplaced. We can teach our children valuable lessons this holiday season. We can teach them about spending within our means. We can teach them about caring for the less fortunate. We can teach them about love and sacrifice and contentment not simply what the packages are underneath a tree. We can remember the reason for our celebration. For many, including our family, 
This holiday season has rich roots in religion and spirituality. For others, the season represents family, friends, and giving. But regardless, there is a reason for the celebration. Yet many of us have traded the reason for the season for simply buying more and more things is exemplified and marketed to us by corporations. Don't waste your holiday season shopping. Remember the reason for the celebration instead. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not proposing that we need to avoid all holiday shopping over the coming weeks and that we don't give any gifts whatsoever. I'm just arguing that we can do far better than holiday shopping. There are more important things to pursue this season. For more videos like this about how to own less and live more, click to subscribe.